Welcome to Terfaf Online. I'm Luciano de Marciac, Head of Air Tours New York, and today we'll be talking about post-war abstraction and metaphysics, illustrated by three giants of the period in the fair. One from Spain, the other from Argentina and Italy, how could it be? And the last one from Germany, some of the countries most affected by World War II during and after it. The post-war period was characterized by new ways of expression through art. The world was entering an entirely new phase, ushered by the industrialization brought about by the war effort. New materials, brand new ways of producing art. It was a time when abstraction and conceptual arts took off. Artists were interested in novel ways to engage and challenge the viewer. It was also a time to exercise war demons as was the case for Manolo Miliares, in Quadro 64, picture 64, 1959, and Majoral. A founder of the El Paso group in Spain in 1957, Miliares expressed post-war angst like nobody else. He said his was an art of explosion and protest of a passionate means of expression that destroys itself so as to rebuild itself ipso facto from its ruins. He's lashed, patched, smeared, unloaded all his raw feelings onto burlap. He often only used black and white to intensify the drama and the resulting mangled mass was an avatar for the post-war generation's torn lives. He first saw the rough fabric on his native Canary Islands on indigenous guanche mummies, but burlap was also loaded with many for the post-war generation. It represented the struggles of war when the coarse, cheap fabric was used even for clothing. Artists like Millares wanted to make a statement by turning the lowest material, loaded with grief, into high art. It was an effort to exercise their demons and to expose the war and post-war hardships. Rarely in the history of art has an artist been able to convey as much charged emotion as Manolo Midiares. At the same time, Italian Argentine artist Lucio Fontana was exploring new ways to connect the viewer of what lies beyond other dimensions in the universe, using the picture surface as a gate, slashed and pierced. He was the founder of the movement Spatialismo, Spatialism in the late 1940s. We're lucky to have two distinct Fontanas in the fair. From 1960, Concetto Spaziale, Spatial Concept, a tese, at Robin Line Voina, featuring the famous tagli or slashes. four of them, on a white ground, neutralizing the charged emotions inherent to color. On the back, one can see the gauze he often used to give more depth to the slashes. And from 1962, we have Concetto Spaziale, which was a series at Luxembourg and Company. This one's pierced, which adds a relief quality to the surface, inviting the eye to zero in on the holes. The canvas is unpainted, adding a textured, earthy color to the work, and the circular shape is emblematic of the universe, for a circle has no beginning and no end. I do not want to make a painting. I want to open up space, create a new dimension, tie in the cosmos as it endlessly expands beyond the confining plane of the picture explained the artist. In Germany, artist Gunther Oecke also explored the metaphysical significance of circles and spirals. As in Spirale 2, Spiral 2, from 2002 at the Mayer Gallery. Many of his compositions recall the mathematical golden ratio, which yields the mysterious, swirly shape ubiquitous in nature in all sizes. From our DNA, to nautilus shells, and even galaxies, a repeating pattern that defies explanation and that speaks to us on a primal level. 
in Spirale 2, the artist adds depth to the nail patterns by reinforcing them in paint on the background and by splattering the nail heads with white. In 1961, Uka joined Group Zero in Germany. Zero, as in a new beginning after the horrors of the war. Already in the mid-1950s, he had developed a pictorial language predicated on nails arranged in evocative patterns on the picture surface. Light and shadow are intrinsic to his compositions. When you see my work, you'll notice that light gives them reality. Its intensity can be changed by the impact of the light and can be changed by the location of the observer. These objects challenge one's engagement and thereby maintain their vitality. These objects challenge one's engagement and thereby maintain their vitality. The very physical process of nailing, like a carpenter in his overalls, adds a certain humbleness to the process, almost in a religious sense. Thank you for watching, and please explore these and our other masterpieces only at DevHive Online until November 4th.